All right, Shalom, back again with another quick lesson inspired through the Rakak Kodash, which is the Holy Spirit, giving all praise to Yah by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, the honors and respect to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and honors and respect to my fellow ministers out here that's out here laboring in the faith, man, staying strong, enduring, and uh, pushing this word out, man. Salutations to those that are listening to these videos and, you know, coming back to the Lord and believing as well. All right. This is just a little quick sum, something I'm doing. I was um, I was thinking about I've been watching this film on Amazon Prime called Them. And it's, it's, it's a real, you know, dope ass little film. You know what I'm saying? A little season. They only got the first season on there, which is 10 episodes. And um, yes, yeah, it's, it's really good. It's really spiritual, too. And it takes place in Los Angeles, in Compton, uh, Los Angeles in the 1950s. All right, it's real spiritual too. Uh, I recommend checking it out. All right, if you are an Israelite, you're going to be pissed off. All right, you're going to see some shit that pisses you off because right, this is during the time where Esau was, you know, at, at the height of his pride here in Babylon the Great. You know what I'm saying? At the nice neighborhoods, the good jobs, you know, and the, you had all the little, uh, the coon satire on television and the the, the black face and the dancing coon and, and all that type of stuff and you know and all these different racial terms you know so a lot of that was going on and um and, you know i was just thinking about someone i was watching one of the episodes last night how the men would always be out to work and then the women all the women were housewives and they stayed at home you know what i'm saying and I was out today while I was at work. I was uh, on on a lunch break. I was just chilling outside, looking across the street at the gas station. And I saw a lady get out her car and pump gas, and she lit up a cigarette. And I was just thinking, how careless and how unwise was that? You know what I'm saying? And and I thought about this film because this is why women <laughs> should be at home because they don't, they're not, they're smart. They're not that smart. That wasn't a smart because if that shit would have blew up or caught fire. Next thing she you she would have known she would have she would have like she ain't do nothing like it wasn't her fault she was a victim, and that's what women tend to do, and that's why it made sense you you kept your woman at home you kept her you know what I'm saying because you know there's no accountability here, you know I remember the last time I got rear ended, uh, it was by a female who hit my car and when I asked you know what happened she just looking stupid stuck on stupid didn't have nothing to say just looking at my car I'm like hello anybody home. What happened? How the fuck did you just run into me? You know? And, 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 and this is why the other nations um, are, are, are have drunk in the cup and I'm, are, are mad. Let's get that real quick. I think that's uh, Jeremiah 50. Because, you know, see, civilization started in what they call the Middle East, right? And in the Middle East, women's liberation, which is something that came out of the West, this was not something that, that you did in, in the East. You know, women didn't have so-called rights and liberties. And no, all of this is, 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 is a new thing. Matter of fact, we can get that next too. All right. Matter of fact, let's go there first. Jeremiah 31 and 22. This is a new thing that's in the earth, man. Jeremiah 31, verse 22. How long would thou go about, O backsliding, backsliding daughter? For the Lord have created a new thing in the earth, a woman shall compass a man. All right, women calling themselves better than men, calling themselves a prize, being equal, right, being liberated. All this is, is, is a new thing in the earth, man. And the Lord done this. Because when you look at this shit, this shit is fucking madness. You know, how, she, how she's basically worshipped in this world. You know, and it just doesn't make sense. Everything is backwards and upside down. And I'm going to get that next year, my 51 and 7. Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. See, Babylon is, is, is where all of this madness came from. It came from the Edomites. Because the Edomites have their hand uh, uh, in Babylon. And Babylon has its grips throughout the whole earth. It's a world superpower. See, but this is actually a, the golden cup in the Lord's hand. Because the Lord has used Babylon to bring all these things to pass. That made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. See, the other nations started to ad adopt this. And now other nations are having problems with their women. I remember seeing a video a few years ago you had, and I think it was in Iran, you had a bunch of women out, and one of the women had climbed up climbed up a like a, a, a some type of pole. I don't know if it was a, a street pole or something, but she was climbed up and she had the, the little waist 
not waist beads, but the little, you know, little, little thing around her waist, and she was twerking on, <laughs> twerking on the pole, man. Where you, where do you think they got that from? See, the nations have drunk enough for wine, therefore the nations are mad. And what happens when you drink of wine or, or, or liquor? All right, you become drunk. You're not in your right mind. These other nations are not in their right mind because this is just one of many things that other nations have began to adopt. Now their women are working, making decisions. All right. Oh, matter of fact, which takes me to uh, something else. I think I took a screenshot of that earlier. Yeah, look at this shit. Dwayne Wade speaks on why he doesn't believe a husband should lead in a marriage. And this is what he said, Dwayne Wade. I do not lead in my marriage with Gabriel Union. Right. So, and, and this is what's being promoted. This is what Esau wants, all right, to be to be the uh, the standard of the earth, man. Let's go to uh, Isaiah 29 and in, in verse 16. It says, surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. And, and Esau eat them. Uh, who who been given this earth? He's been given the fatness of the earth, the control of this earth, man. The blessing of the sword to 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 go in these nations and take and devour the people and control them, right? And and push his wine unto them, his philosophies unto them, right? So surely your turning of things upside down should be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not? Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding, right? Let's let's look at uh. Let's look at another translation on that. Let's see what else they got. How foolish can you be? He is the potter and he is certainly greater than you, the clay. Shouldn't the created thing say of the one who made it? He didn't make me. Does a jar ever say the potter who made me is stupid? You turn things upside down as if the potter were thought to be like the clay. Mm. Right. Esau done went and, and, and sold all this wickedness and all this upside down shit across the earth like the lord ain't gonna ain't gonna re reset this shit and fix this shit back you know can the pot say to the potter you know nothing and that's the pride of esau that's basically what he's saying he's saying you know what 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 god did that ain't good enough man and woman nah that ain't good enough right fruits vegetables from the earth with minerals vitamins nah that ain't good enough you know This man here, man. This is Psalms 136, verse 5. It says to him that by wisdom made the heavens for his mercy endure forever. See, wisdom created this earth, and this earth is not ran in wisdom. That's why this shit is, is, ain't going to last. This shit is very temporary, and it seems like forever. But when the Lord turned back the captivity of Zion, man, this, is, this ain't going to even be remembered. This is going to be like a second. The scripture says how it's gonna be like a basically like a bad dream, like we had just had a little nightmare, and that was it. You know, cause this shit gonna be so long ago, man. We finna get eternal life, you know? And yeah, eternity is for the children of Israel. All right. That the kingdom of heaven is for the children of Israel. It ain't for no one else. It damn sure ain't for these Edomites. Here it is, they done turned the whole earth inside out, upside down, freaking everybody out. And and, and, and you got people out here that wanna say the kingdom of heaven is for everybody. And and, and you know, no nah, man. No, indeed. Because here it is. Esau can't repent. You see, this is Hebrews 12 and... Uh, and 16. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. For ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears, man. Esau was just created to, to do what he's doing, just so the Lord can, can show his power, which um, the verse of the day uh, I got, the alert was Hebrews 11, I mean, Exodus 11 and uh, 9. So let's grab that real quick, because this ties in to that too. It says, and the Lord said unto Moses, Pharaoh shall not hearken unto you, that my wonders may be multiplied in the land of Egypt. So just like in, in uh, ancient Egypt, all right, the Pharaoh, all right, the, 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 the king pretty much of this kingdom, all right, uh, Esau, Edom, he's not going to listen, all right, to what the prophets are saying. He's not going to uh, repent. He's not going to turn back from his evil doing, right? His, his heart is going to be hardened so that the Lord's wonders, all right, can be multiplied. 
and, and, and when the Lord, you know, humble these women and, and humble, you know, this earth, that's going to be a mighty sight because you got to think, man, how, how great of a work is it going to have to take for this to happen? Isaiah 4 and 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man saying we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. All right, because right now women don't want to wear their own apparel. They don't want to dress in modest apparel, right? Because according to the scriptures, that's what they're supposed to wear. Modest apparel. First Timothy 2 and 9. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shamefacedness. And that's something you don't see in, in, in women today. They're not shamefaced. They'll look a man dead in his eye. They'll tell him, they'll raise their voice to the man. They'll cuss a man out. They'll disrespect a man. They'll put hands on a man, right? It says, and sobriety, not with broided hair or gold or pearls or costly array. You see? So them wearing their own apparel is what? Dresses, skirts, you know, being covered up, being in a woman's role, man. All right. There's a saying, you know, that they used to say when I was growing up, you know, I wear the pants in this house. That's what the man would say. I wear the pants in this house. Right now, women wear pants. Literally, they wear pants. They wear jeans. They wear leggings. Right. Shit, they wear a suit and tie too. There's <laughs> women out here that they dress with with uh with suits, with ties, bow ties, right? But see, in this day it says they will wear their own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. So uh, a humble spirit is gonna come down on these women in, in these last days. It says in that day. So it's gonna be a prophetic somewhere along this prophetic timeline, the Lord is gonna work a mighty work. All right, that's gonna humble. A lot of people, man, and they're going to be in a whole nother spirit. They're going to be basically seeking mercy, right? Because mercy is going to be scarce, you know, real soon, man. Because right now, everyone walking in their pride. You can't tell them nothing. Everybody is somebody on social media, you know. These people, you know, you can't tell them. They don't care about nothing. But that's why the scripture says that in a time of prosperity, you know, that people don't remember the days of affliction. And in the times of affliction, they don't re remember the days of prosperity. So real soon, these people ain't going to even remember these days when they was walking around here with, with 10, 20, 30,000 followers. And everybody was 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 donating and, and, you know, sending them money and subscribing to their OnlyFans and shit. People going to want mercy, you know, when the Lord laid la 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 the law down, man. When the Lord show his power, they, they going to want mercy. You know, and back to this filth. Speaks on why he doesn't believe a husband should lead in a marriage. Man, this place is done, man. And, and the Lord gonna, gonna destroy these old coon-ass, sell-out-ass niggas, man. Dwayne Wade, I do not lead in my marriage. So who leads then? This thing right here? This thing, don't, man, women, don't, women can't even... Can, <laughs> man, don't even get me going, man. And women have a hard time deciding what the hell they're going to wear. You tell them we're going to go somewhere this weekend. She'll have a hard time. Days go by. <laughs> Here it is the day of. She still need two, two, three hours to decide and, and get ready, man. Come on now. And, and this is who wears, who makes the decisions in your household, man. This thing is upside down. This thing is backwards. Ass fucking backwards, man. And this shit is satanic as hell. Because you got to. Anyway, man, I'm going to go ahead and end there. I think I already got what I wanted to get and made the point. I know I was reading this article going into, uh, you know, the history of basically women coming into the workforce, but I'm not going to really bring this out, man. You know, I think I made the point. So I'm going to go ahead and end that through the spirit. I got something to do. So on to the next. Shalom.